Hi there, it's um, update time on the Viper. Um, what I've got here is the cockpit or canopy, or even cockpit canopy. And what I've done is I've just made up some, you can buy masks for these, but I've made them up basically just using some ordinary uh, 3M masking tape. It's the low tack stuff. And just basically pressed into the windows, use a Use your nail or some sort of edge to really, really press it firmly into all the, the corners of the windows. And then just very carefully run a, uh, run a knife around and uh, cut the edges uh, until you get a nice, nice clean cut. Don't try and cut it in one go because it won't work. Just, just uh, lightly run the knife around until you're absolutely all the way through the tape and then you can just peel off the excess and it leaves behind what you want and you've got some homemade masks very simply um, and then I found the best way to do it is just paint lots of very very thin layers if you put too much paint on at once it will just literally uh, sort of accumulate around the top of the tape and just seep through underneath and then you have horrible leaks so uh, hopefully that will, will be okay when it's done. Um, okay, on to the next bit. Okay, this is the, uh, the rest of the mole. Basically, I'm gluing the wings on at the moment. But what I've done over the last day or so is uh, basically come on with the rest of the construction. I'm filling in that awful uh, gap there where the forward undercarriage would be. It just looks awful so I'm going to build that up and then scribe a line down the middle so that should look okay. Back ones aren't too bad, needed a bit of filler and I've used... Uh, sorry, out of breath, come upstairs. Um, right, I've used some um, tulip uh, paint, this is the 3D paint, uh, just to help block any little light gaps. It'll all be painted the right colour afterwards but that just helps me seal it in and seal all the light in. Um, you can see the lower halves of the wings are in place and I'm going to put the top halves in later on once that's, once that's set. The tulip I mentioned by the way is this stuff. It's 3D um, paint. Uh, it's initially for um, clothing for sort of doing paint on t-shirts that sort of stuff. But it's brilliant because it's a bit like paint, but it's kind of thick, 3D, sort of like a filler at the same time. So it's great for light blocking. So um, yeah, so that's where the Viper is at the moment. It's coming on quite quickly now. Uh, I'll just um, fire up the electrics so you can see how they're looking. I do tend to keep an eye on the electrics at various different stages as, as I go through a build in case I've upset something along the way. So I'm just going to give this some power. Okay, so hopefully our cockpit's still working. It is. And we've still got our nice screen detail in there. Some lighting around the edge. And of course we've got some engines now at the back as well. So that's basically what she's starting to look like. Actually, while you're with me, we'll check for... I'll show you how to check for the light blocking and the gaps. Switch the big light out. We've got a little bit of a little bit of daylight left, but this is uh, this is ideal for checking for light light blocks or light gaps rather, like leaks. I'll get it right in a minute. So you can see our cockpit is nicely lit up, but there's no light coming from anywhere that there shouldn't be. It's not seeping through anywhere. And then of course the real test is those big engines at the back. A uh, nice glow off of those, very powerful, but no light leaks. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny one just there to be filled. And I think I see another tiny one there to be filled. So this is a good way of finding your light leaks. So yeah, there's a, there's a bad one there we need to find. Or we need to block. That's about it. I'm not seeing too much else. So here we go. Yeah, 
Anyway, that's all for now.